HitFilm Sensei here. Today in this video, we are going to do Sith Eyes. So the first question that you may have is, why do Dark Lords of the Sith actually have those yellow and bloodshot eyes? The short answer is that Sith Lords have their eyes turned to yellow when they reach a certain point of corruption by the dark side. It is a degradation of the body directly resulting from either a prolonged exposure or a very intense exposure to the dark side of the Force. So Sith Lords like Darth Maul, Darth Sidious, and Darth Vader all have Sith eyes. Darth Vader had Sith eyes only during the intense portions of his exposure when he was killing on Mustafar and when he lost to Obi-Wan Kenobi. But Sith Lords like uh, Count Dooku don't because they have not given themselves completely over to the Force. So how do you do the Sith Lord effect? Well, the first thing you have to do is get some video footage, okay? In my case, what I did was I backcombed my beard and then I sent a picture of that to my wife so she would freak out a little bit. <laughs> and then I went ahead and started playing around with this effect, okay? The first thing you want to do when you're making that footage is don't blink. That's very important because if you blink, then it makes your life a lot harder. So make sure that your eyes are open at all times, okay? Then what you want to do is, is you want to duplicate your footage, okay? And you're going to rename that one yellow, all right? And we're going to duplicate it again, and we're going to rename the second duplicate red. So we have the yellow part and we have the red part, okay? Now I do need to go ahead and track this footage so that way I know exactly uh, where it's going because even though you may hold perfectly still, it's still gonna move a little bit, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the raw footage itself and I click on the track button. I'm gonna use my mouse wheel to scroll in here a little bit and I'm gonna drag my tracker up to one of the eyes. I will start with the right eye first. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit the track forward button here and let it track. It may need a little bit of help along the ways. In this case, it won't need too much help. Uh, but then after I have the track, I will be able to assign that to a point, okay, that I will then attach the effect to. So the track is now complete. I'm going to go back to the viewer and I am going to create a new point. And I'm going to call this point the right eye position point. And then that tracker data, I'm going to transform to that right eye position point and click apply. Okay, so now if you see that point there, you will see that it is tracked and it moves with the eye. And that's going to be very important. Okay. So now what I need to do is go ahead and freeze the yellow and the red on the frame that they're on. So this is actually pretty easy to do. All I'm going to do is grab them both. And then I'm just going to drag them all the way back so they're all one frame. Then I'm going to use this rate stretch tool and I'm just going to drag them back out. So now they are frozen on the spot so that I can move on to doing the masking. So now the yellow, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my mouse wheel to scroll in really close here and you can see that the um pupil or the iris i should say of the eye has you know a lighter color on the inside and then a darker on the outside what i want to do is i want to use my freehand mask tool and i want to mask around where the edge of the lighter meets the darker and i'm going to go all the way around masking this out so now if I were to turn off the other two, I would just have that part, okay? All right, then I'm going to go to the red part and I am going to mask out the entire eye. After I have done that, now you can see that if I were to, uh, I have just the eye part here, okay? But what I really want is just the outside part of the eye not part including the part that is yellow so what i'm going to do is is i'm going to under the yellow one copy the mask and then i'm going to paste that mask into the red one and i'm going to set that to subtract 
So what will happen is, is that I will only have the outside part of the eye in the red media, and I will have the inside part of the eye in the yellow media, okay? All right, now, before I go any further, I do want to go ahead and parent both of these to the right eye position. That way, they will move with the eye, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to search in the effects for fill color, and I'm going to drop the fill color into the yellow, and then, I know, shocking, but I'm going to make it yellow. What kind of craziness is that? Then I'm going to take the fill color effect and drop it into the red, and you're never going to guess what I'm going to color it. Yes, it's going to be red. Okay. So now, if I were to go back all the way out, there's a realistic Sith eye. Okay, maybe not so realistic. What I need to do now is, is I need to change the blend mode. So the yellow one, I'm going to blend mode overlay. And the red one, I'm going to blend mode overlay also. And this will mix it with the other two. Okay, now all that needs to happen is I just need to feather this to taste, okay? So the way I'm going to do that is by searching for feather, and that way all the feathers will come up, and I just have to play with this, and it's going to depend on, uh, you know, how far away your subject is from the camera, how close the eye is, what the already the uh, resolution of it is and stuff. Uh, and I have played around with this, and I've found that I think around 10 or 11 is pretty good for this particular shot, I think. Um, and you will be able to find that under the shape part of the, of the deal there, okay? So now you can see that I have that Sith eye look. And you'll notice that any imperfections in the eyeball will kind of create the bloodshot look, but then the red bleeds in where we left part of the iris there uh, for that. So then all you have to do from here is just repeat all of these steps for the other eye, and then you'll have your Sith eye effect, which looks like this. One thing to note is that different eye colors will change in different ways to the yellow overlay. So you may want to play with the blend modes or the uh, yellow shading to get what color you're actually looking for. But a brown eye, for example, might end up being a little bit darker versus, say, a blue eye or something like that. So you definitely want to play with that until you get it exactly the way that you want it. So basically in a nutshell that's it if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below otherwise thanks for watching if you would like to keep up with the latest tutorial videos from hit film sensei consider liking the hit film sensei facebook page following the hit film sensei twitter feed and subscribing to the hit film sensei youtube channel the links are in the description below a new video comes out every friday and monday and thanks for your support